Welcome to Sprout Your Apologetics. Today we're going to get into a great verse that will encourage you all. So grab your drink and your Bible and we'll go straight into it. I'm reading today from 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 16 and 17. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete, thoroughly equipped for every good work. So we know from this that the Bible is inspired by God himself, by the Holy Spirit. It moved the writers, all 40 of them, to write over 1,500 years of time to bring what we have today as our Bible. He inspired it. He moved these people to speak what they spoke. Right from Moses in the first five books up to the Apostles and Paul in the New Testament. Every word is carefully written down and written down with reason and purpose. Many, most of this purpose is to teach us, is to encourage us, is to have faith in what he has said, because we can take his word to the bank. We've stood hundreds of years of scrutiny and criticism, and it still stands strong, and it's still the best-selling book in the world many, many times over. We can take courage from this word, because it, like it said, it instructs us in righteousness. It, it, we can use it to rebuke people. We can use it to encourage them. We can use it to inspire people. And we can use it to lift people up. And we have to apply it practically. It's a practical book. It's the terms and conditions God has made for life. But also it's a practical, handy book of how to apply the principles, things that we have to do, the things we should do, that we have a message to proclaim, and that is that Jesus Christ is Lord, that he died and according to the scriptures, and he rose again according to the scriptures. That's what the Bible says. And these, the apostles, they went around the whole known world preaching the gospel, and they died for their faith. And they died because they saw the risen Christ. This book, the Bible, is inspired in every word. It's everything has application. And we shouldn't just misquote the Bible. We should quote it, quote it and we should read it carefully so we can apply it correctly. That we don't go fall into error because the Bible says to rightly divide the word of truth. And we should do that. Be and pray according to the Bible. There's no point in praying prayers that are unbiblical. Lack faith. Like, um, if it be your will, should I do this? Should I do that? The Bible lays out all the things that we should do and shouldn't do. We have the, we have the law, the Ten Commandments. We have the prophets who tell us what to do and how to how to live in devotion to God. The Bible is there to inspire us and to encourage us how to live righteously before God. Not religiously, not legalistically, but with faith in what he says. And we apply his words because he is the way, the truth and the life. He is the bread of life. His word is the bread of life. We live by this bread of life. It's profitable for correcting and rebuke and instruction in righteousness so we can walk with God correctly. I hope this word is an encouragement to you to read the word and to constantly read it and live in it and think about what it's saying to you. Let it read you and let it speak to your conscience. Let it speak to your heart and your mind that you can do what pleases God because without faith it's impossible to please God and we must apply the word that we may please him by faith. Anyway, that's it for today's talk and I will see you soon for another episode. Bye-bye.
Thank you.